and then is the I think Shastra itself the main virtue of the Shastras the nature of the trait is to be the, like composed uh, it has three aspects we say here uh, the preliminary preliminaries how to enter the Dharma uh, and then the second is the main part demonstrating the path of the three kind of the beings and then is the first ones and the first part is divided into the seven point and then is the first is the making the freedom drums and rich meaningful and making meaningful what does it mean making meaningful for our freedoms and our riches sometimes advantages or conditions and that is like uh, making the meaningful the <coughs> verse itself is goes like this This time, we have obtained this great vehicle of freedom and rich, so hard to find. In order to free ourselves and others from the ocean of the samsara, day and night, without indolence, to listen, reflect, and meditate in Bodhisattva practice. What does it mean? He said, this time, very important word like we can to say exclusive exclusively we obtained this great vehicle of the human existence which is a freedom which uh, in doubt all the necessity of the rich. It is very hard to obtain this kind of achievement. Therefore, only these times. Very specific word to using the these times. Of course, we can obtain this great vehicle of the freedoms and riches but it is so hard we to have human existence or to obtain the human existence it is not easy Therefore, he is using the so hard to find. There is the example of the 
numerals, examples, and conditions. And as we say this morning, in the relative things are, everything is arise from the dependently. If there is no cause, no result. No result, no cause. Dependently, cause and result inevitably arise. Therefore, in order to obtain marvelous human existence, we need such cause, we need such conditions. It is not easy to obtain some certain cause, some certain conditions. We need specific cause and specific conditions. And therefore, he says, these times, hey, these times we obtain something important. These times we'll be together, we need to do something. These times we have achievement, something, we need to do something. Same like this. We have obtained this great, extraordinary vessel of the freedoms and riches. Vessel is like a kind of example. It's a vehicle or like a boat. It can carry it to ours one this, from this shore to the other shores. Here is a talking about the ocean of the samsara. When we need to cross this ocean of the samsara, we need a vessel, boat, great, not any kind of vessels, cannot transport us from this shore to other shores. And once we get great vessel, vessel or the boat, or the ship, not ship, or ship, or ship, ship, and which is the human existence. We are using this vessel in order to cross the ocean of the samsara. We can, therefore, our freedoms, very important to recognize the freedoms. Normally, we're talking about the aid support of the human bodies. Or supporter of the human body in doubt with the eight freedoms. Eight freedoms. What are them? We're not reborn in the health, hungry ghosts, animals, or under the others. Or maybe it's like a kind of, uh, there are many. They're specifically talking about eight known freedoms. But of course, there are many different known freedoms. And these eight freedoms, can you count? For example, we are not reborn in the hell, hungry ghosts, animals. Long life of God and dummy God, we are not barbarian. It's the truth. You know freedoms. And? Huh? Oh, yes, it's not we are reborn and the black eons. And? And also we are reborn in the right place. Right place is like according to the Dharma right place. Or place, right place, place. And right Dharma place. Yes? Ah, okay, anyway, that you know the very well. And these freedoms, it's really, we need to analyze again and again. Say, I, I am human beings. 
I have great freedoms. I'm not born in the hells. Nobody's crashed to me. Nobody's beaten me. Nobody's controlling me. And like hell is like a prisoner. And you all the times depends on the others. You can't do nothing to yourself. Even if you want to practice Dharma, impossible. When we reborn in the hell or in the some the prisoners. Of course, because there is tremendous sufferings, tortures. And we say I'm not that, I'm human beings. And we need to recognize our human boat. And this boat can cross the ocean of the samsara. What does it mean, the ocean of the samsara? Ocean of the sufferings, birth, old age, sickness, death, and also progressive sufferings, the suffering of the sufferings, changing sufferings, so on. How many is there is sufferings? Now we need to, to eliminate, to like kind of make a freedom from these sufferings through or relying on this great vessel of the freedom of the human existence, rich of the human existence. Richness are, we can to say, this is also is the conditions and very important conditions and, and consistent of the five intrinsic ones is called because there's the conductive circumstances for the Dharma practice that must be complete within ourselves. Five, the richest are completely within ourselves. Completely within ourselves. You know, it is like a, there is a first like example of the to obtain the human <coughs> existence. And that is the, our own like kind of a rich because if we cannot obtain the human existence, how we can to practice the Dharma? And impossible, there's. And also it's like we call the five completely from the outside the, our own selves. For example, we can just say we want to make the teas. There's many conditions, all side conditions. It's necessary in order to practice the Dharma, we need some outer conditions. Buddha needs to appear in this world. Buddha just appear this world is nothing now. He needs to talk to us, the Dharma. And that is outer our conditions. Also, we need to enter into the practice Dharma. That is ourself, or this outer outside the conditions. Those kind of there's five are the complete from the outside self, oneself, and five completely is like in our own self. This we need to know about to study, very important. If we understand these conditions, then we need to be automatically happy. Some sometimes it says the human existence. We never ever make the meaning for our life. It, he says that I'm making the freedom and rich meaningful. You know, meaningful. I told you one my friend, when he was eight or nine years and he's concerned the human existence, and he's realized the old age sickness, the death, and he realized the impermanent. Absolutely, and then he cried day and night. What can I do? He saw that, and his grandparents, some is like old age, sick, dying persons. He sure he said, this one day I will become like this kind of situation. I need to do something right now. And then he entered into the university of the Buddha, the Dharma, Buddhist university. So happy my freedom of the human existence, my condition, this rich insert of the human existence. Now I can take, make the meaning for my life. 
and so enjoy that. And now he is almost maybe is much older than me, but so I have <coughs> extraordinary practitioners. Many people follow, many people respect. His joy is automatic there. He is like uncomplished, he is a meaningful life. Therefore, first times we need to recognize our this great vessel of the human existence. Many people do not recognize the human existence, this excellent human existence. They, they use the useless way. Sometimes they kill themselves, sometimes they dedicate to some is ugly things, criminal, negative things, doing whole, whole life, or maybe become alcoholic, become the like kind of drug addict, become the killer, stroller, doer of the sexual misconduct. They, and even that they cannot make happy, they never ever appreciate their own human existence. This is very pretty. It's like we can do this kind of teachings. Thanks for us. It's telling to us our qualities. We can appreciate our own precious jewel, which is the human existence. If we use this precious human existence for the something benefit for the futures, absolutely we can to do all this this human existence benefit for ourselves, benefit for others. Like we can take example the our supreme teacher of the Buddha, what he did. All this human existence, he said, I need to do something urgently, quickly, fathers, and not only looking after the, my kingdom and not chasing after the mind like pleasures or the entertainment. Certainly I become old age sick, die, become the ash. Father, who can to help me? Who can do it? If I may become ash, maybe I will obtain the human existence very difficult. He said it's so hard to find. It's the truth. Even in the our like material things, small good things is very difficult. Expensive but to do is like any like for example in you go to Switzerland one watch maybe it's 80 70 90 thousand euro and you can what it is because it's the precious because it is such difficult to do it is it but this kind of precious things never bring to us enlightened demand. You just to put on is which kind of benefit. It's just nothing, okay, someone say you are so rich, that's all. And nothing, maybe even the sometimes the diamond and this gold is pain in your hand. It's too heavy. But this is not compared like this. Our human existence more precious than that. And when we have got this true, this precious human existence, we should to to maintain happy, to do something, say, really to. Sometimes we say, that we say it's like, if we cannot do uncompletion, uncompletion about the virtues, the dharma, but how I can to make happy? Before I have one secretary, she once says, Rinpoche, I understand the dharma, I understand I need to practice dharma, obviously, true, I have any doubt, but sometimes it's very difficult, but now I understand my human existence. Until I might die, I want to make happy. I'm going to holiday. I want to make parties. <laughs> I said, great, marvelous. And I tell you, the most of our precious, you know, human beings all the time are crying. A little bit something, problems, is like a dream, such and such pretty things. And of course, if you really to know the human existence, say, now, this time, is, I have great chance, I have great opportunities. I have eight freedoms, ten advantages, you know, riches. I have all the facilities I need to accomplish the Dharma. If I'm accomplishing the Dharma, then it's like all the source of the happiness, temporary and ultimate, is coming from that. It's absolute truth. For example, we can just say, if you, before maybe you are very aggressive, and Dharma says anger is poison, anger is negative, anger is the source of the samsara, you should to diminish your anger. 
You say, no, because those my enemies disturbed. In the Dharma, say, enemy is your family. Enemy is your like object, great things. You cannot concern in that. You concern your anger, your negative emotions. You need to diminish your anger, anger negative. Then you say, ah, yes, I'm turn inward, look at the, my anger, your anger. Anger is diminished, you smiling, you are kind, automatically happiness. That is the happiness. That is the sunlight of happiness start in the, our mountain of the heart. Marvelous. Mind is in the anger is blossoming. It's a lily flower. Smell is coming. That is the happy. This is the result of the Dharma. If we diminish all the negative emotions, environment is automatically changed. In the, your family is the society is automatically respects to you, happy. And then through this, in yourself, your mind is become more clearly, more open, more tolerant. Then it's naturally you can to help to the other sentient beings. This is the accomplishment of the Dharma. This is the making the meaningful of the Dharma in the quotations. There is so such and such. If I tell you to, and your ears automatically pain. I don't want to tell you, okay? But you need to research. It's which kind of important pressures of the, your human existence. And this kind of here is the, is the hard to find. It is the truth. You know, in the world, my perfect teachers, there's numerous examples. When we sit is like this, in the surround of the, in the earth, inside, billions, billions, they are living sentient beings. And then it's, we compare that human beings is very rare, very, almost sort of nothing, this animal, this social animal. Very marvelous, it's like. Of course, our mind is, and the sentient being's mind is, there's nothing different, but something is mind done. Mind done. Mind itself did something on the past. Then some sentient beings obtain a great body. Great body. Some sentient beings, they got very ugly body, cannot move, handicaps, like mind pressure, and like kind of, then their mind is like stupid. For example, look at this, we can choose animals. Some animals, they want to talk. They have inside this the feeling is as, as our human existence, but holding their body, there is something block. They cannot talk the same as the human language. We haven't, they haven't got ability of the, our human existence. For example, we can to imitate the, any kind of animals of the sound. But animals sometimes cannot uh, imitate our like kind of sound, human language. If you say bonjour, they cannot just say bonjour. Maybe they say ah, that's all. It's because they a lack of inside something. That this coding that mind just cannot move, and then they are like very much stupid. But maybe they also we can just their mind done on the past. Of course, in the Buddhist view, point of view, you say the karma, but it's a karma or cause and conditions, it's truth. And therefore, I have a lot of to tell. We need to start this first verse of the preliminary, talking about the, the freedoms and riches. It's to make it the meaningful. It's a very, very important. You know, in the world, my perfect teacher said, you should to decisive yourself need to determine your mind to make it meaningful your uh, the, the human existence. And to, we need to analyze about the human existence because without investigation, without analyze, we never ever appreciate our human existence. We think, uh, I'm a human being, which is important, okay. And uh, sometimes it's very much suffering. I want to die, I want to kill me, I want to do something. I want to cry. Then it's other sentient beings, some animals look to us, they cry. Pretty human beings. They do not understand. You know, the example is one poor guy, he has no knowledge, his life is a whole, is a poor. But and his house, the foundation or his stuff, 
foundation is a gold stone. His house full of the gold, but his life is a poor and crying lack of the food and the cloth, because he has a good knowledge of the understanding of this gold stone. And like this, we are living in the gold, the house, golden house, which is the human existence. To analyze, this is a very, very important turning our, taming our minds with our human existence in order to understand this precious human existence, marvelous human existence, great vessel of the human existence. Through this, we can to cross the the samsaric portion of the samsaras. This is like the, we can to make the freedom more from all the cyclic existence, not only the, those eight freedoms. We can make the freedoms of the, from the whatever existence, you know, cyclic existence, cyclic existence, or the existence is the existence. Okay, like this. And then, Yes, I'm going to, would you like to more continue? I want to say more things. I think this is a very, 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 very important to analyze sometimes two times and uh, to talking about the human existence. And all the times there are many, many different sutta, many, many different tantras is talking about human existence. It's a very hard to talk to uh, find this one said. Becoming a human being is a very, very difficult 